you probably feel that you're the one in control of your daily life, that you decide what to eat, what to watch, where you put your money, which path your career will follow, and every choice feels like your own, a small act of personal will. But there is a hidden hand at work, a quiet influence that gently guides your decisions in moments both great and small. This force is not some grand conspiracy, nor is it a supernatural power. It is, of course, artificial intelligence. And this isn't a vision of some distant science fiction future. It is here with us right now. It has woven itself so deeply into the fabric of our world that we barely even register its presence. Yet its impact is profound, quietly reshaping our society, our businesses and our own lives. Most of us see AI as a simple tool, something we choose to use. The reality, however, is far more complex. AI has become a partner, an advisor, and in some cases, the decision-maker-in-chief. The question then is no longer if AI will start making our decisions, but to what extent it already is. How much of your own autonomy have you unknowingly passed to it? And what happens when these remarkable yet unthinking systems get it wrong? You may think you chose to watch this, but what if I were to tell you that the decision was, in a way, made for you long before you even opened the app? A recommendation algorithm analyzed trillions of pieces of information, your viewing habits, your interests, even the time of day, and predicted with an almost unnerving accuracy that this very subject would capture your imagination. This is the hidden force guiding so much of our modern world. And over the next few minutes, we'll uncover how this intelligence is already shaping everything, from the news you read to the medical care you receive. It seems we are not quite the masters of our own choices that we believe ourselves to be. Welcome back to Mentor's Mindset. This begins not with a great pronouncement, but in the quiet moments of our everyday lives. The most successful forms of influence are often the ones we welcome, the ones that offer us a little convenience. Think about your morning. The news you glance at on your phone it has been curated by an algorithm, one designed not necessarily to show you what is most important, but what is most likely to keep you engaged. The route you take to work, that's been optimized by a GPS system analyzing real-time traffic data to make the most efficient choice you. The spam filter in your email, the films suggested on your streaming service, the friends recommended on social media, all of these are subtle decisions being made on your behalf by AI. These systems work on a simple, powerful principle. They learn from your behavior to predict what you might want. Every click, every like, every single pause is a piece of data fed into a vast machine learning model. The goal is a seamless, personalized experience. And on the surface, this is wonderfully helpful. We get better recommendations, more relevant adverts, and faster journeys. AI automates the small, tedious choices, freeing up our minds for more important things. But there is a deeper consequence. As we come to rely on these systems, we begin to outsource our own judgment. We stop seeking out new kinds of music because Spotify's playlists are just so good. We stop questioning our news feed because it's so perfectly tailored to what we already believe. This convenience comes at a price, a gradual narrowing of our world. We are gently guided into a filter bubble, an echo chamber of our own preferences, where our choices aren't really choices at all, but simply confirmations of what an algorithm has already decided we like. This isn't a malicious plan, it's just the logical result of a system built for maximum efficiency. But it does raise a vital question. When an AI can predict your tastes and serve you tailored content, are you still exercising free will? Or are you just following a path that's been laid out for you? The line is becoming wonderfully and perhaps worryingly blurry. The very convenience that AI offers can, in turn, Remove the chance for us to think and choose for ourselves, and this subtle erosion of our autonomy is happening every day in millions of tiny decisions that, together, shape who we are. But this is only the beginning. The true power of AI decision-making becomes clearest when the stakes are much, much higher. Much. Let's turn from film recommendations to something with truly life-altering consequences. Your money. The world of finance, once a place of human instinct and gut feeling, is now one of the most AI-driven environments on the planet. From the trading floors of Wall Street to your personal banking app, artificial intelligence is making critical financial decisions every single millisecond. 
the world's major financial institutions no longer just experiment with AI. It's now absolutely central to their strategy. JP Morgan Chase, for example, uses an AI to scan complex financial documents, extracting vital information for investment deals, and slashing a process that once took humans weeks down to mere hours. It isn't just about speed, it's about depth. AI algorithms can sift through colossal data sets, news reports, social media chatter, geopolitical risks to predict how the markets might move. After events like Brexit, traders using AI-powered systems were able to forecast a fall in the British pound far quicker than their human colleagues. This has led to the rise of algorithmic trading, where AI systems execute enormous volumes of trades in fractions of a second, reacting to market changes faster than any human ever could. But it's not just the giants of finance. The decisions that affect you directly are also increasingly automated. When you apply for a loan or a credit card, it's highly likely an AI model makes the first judgment. These systems analyze your financial history and spending habits to decide if you're a good risk. Proponents will argue this is a fairer system, as an algorithm holds no personal prejudice. It bases its assessment on data alone, which could open up credit to people who might have been overlooked by traditional human checks. And what's more, AI is the silent guardian of our finances. Banks use sophisticated machine learning to spot fraud in real time. These systems learn your typical spending patterns, where you shop, how much you spend, to flag any transaction that seems unusual, often stopping a theft before you're even aware of it. This level of security would be impossible for humans to manage alone, but this dependence on AI and finance carries its own significant risks. The black box problem is a major concern. Quite often, the complex models used are so intricate that even their own creators don't fully understand how they reach a particular conclusion. If an AI denies you a loan, it can be almost impossible to get a clear answer as to why. Was it a fair reading of your history, or did the algorithm find a biased pattern in the data it was trained on? There's also the danger of over-reliance. When an AI becomes the default decision-maker, human oversight and critical thinking can begin to fade. This automation, while efficient, hands enormous power to systems that, for all their logic, have no human context or ethical compass. The decisions that shape your financial future, from your pensions performance to whether you can afford to buy a house, are increasingly being made inside a silicon chip, driven by a logic we can't always see or question. If giving an algorithm power over our finances seems unsettling, consider this. AI is now involved in decisions that could mean the difference between life and death. The world of healthcare is going through a revolution and artificial intelligence is at the very center of it, changing how diseases are diagnosed, how treatments are planned, and how new medicines are discovered. One of the most remarkable breakthroughs is in diagnostics, especially medical imaging. AI algorithms trained on millions of scans are becoming almost superhuman radiologists. They can analyze X-rays, Connecticut scans and MRIs with a precision that can surpass human experts. Studies have shown AI systems detecting signs of lung cancer with 94% accuracy, far greater than the 65% managed by human radiologists. In South Korea, an AI showed 90% sensitivity in spotting breast cancer, again, significantly outperforming its human counterparts. These tools can find the faintest, most subtle traces of disease at its very earliest stage, often before a human doctor could and long before a patient has any symptoms. This is not about replacing our doctors, it's about augmenting their incredible skills. An AI can perform the initial screening of thousands of images, freeing up human radiologists to focus on the most difficult cases and to spend more time with their patients. The increase in efficiency is immense, reducing workloads and cutting the time for a diagnosis from weeks down to minutes. The decision-making power of AI in healthcare goes well beyond diagnosis. In 2025, Google's Articulate Medical Intelligence Explorer, or AME, showed in a study that it could outperform human doctors in diagnostic accuracy and even empathy during text-based conversations. AI is also being used to create incredibly personal treatment plans. By analyzing a patient's genetics, lifestyle, and medical history, an AI can predict which treatments are most likely to work for them. For instance, 
New AI-powered tests can analyze a prostate cancer patient's tumor to see if they'll respond to a certain drug, helping them avoid ineffective and grueling therapies. AI is even accelerating the discovery of new medicines, a process that has historically taken more than a decade and cost billions. By simulating how molecules interact and predicting how effective different compounds might be, AI is helping scientists identify promising new drugs at a truly unprecedented speed. But with this incredible power comes immense responsibility and a new landscape of ethical questions. What happens when an AI's diagnosis clashes with a human doctor's? Who is responsible if an AI-guided treatment plan doesn't work? And there's a very real danger of automation bias, where doctors might become so reliant on AI suggestions that they stop applying their own critical judgment. Studies have shown that when an AI explains its reasoning, humans are more likely to follow its advice, even if their own intuition tells them otherwise. And, of course, the data used to train these AI models is everything. If that data isn't diverse and representative of everyone, it can lead to biased results that reinforce existing health inequalities. The promise of AI in medicine is a world of more precise, personal and predictive healthcare. But getting there requires very careful navigation. The decision about the treatment you receive or the diagnosis you're given is no longer just in the hands of your doctor. It is a partnership between human expertise and artificial intelligence. And as we hand over more of these crucial decisions, we must be careful never to lose sight of the human being at the heart of it all. The influence of artificial intelligence spreads out beyond our personal lives and into the very structures that govern our societies. Two of the most critical areas being reshaped by AI decision-making are how we find work and the information we consume as citizens. These aren't small individual choices. These are decisions that ripple outwards, affecting our economy, our culture and our democracy. Let's begin with the world of work. If you've applied for a job recently, particularly at a large company, your application was almost certainly read by an AI before it ever reached a human. Companies are using AI to manage the sheer volume of applications they receive. These systems scan for keywords, skills and experience, ranking candidates and filtering out those it deems unqualified. The aim is to make hiring more efficient and to spot the best fit candidates in a vast sea of applicants. On one hand, you could see this as a move towards a fairer system. An AI, in theory, doesn't care about your name, your gender or your background. It only sees the qualifications on the page. But the potential for bias is enormous. AI models are trained on historical hiring data, and if that data reflects the discriminatory practices of the past, the AI will learn and repeat those very same biases. Research has already shown that some AI hiring tools can put women and minority candidates at a systematic disadvantage. The decision of whether you even get an interview could be made by an algorithm with invisible, inherited prejudices. Once you are in a job, AI continues to make decisions. It's used to monitor performance, allocate resources and even to identify employees it thinks are at risk of leaving. The shift is unmistakable. AI is no longer just an administrative assistant. It is becoming a strategic partner in how we manage our entire workforce. And just as AI curates our professional lives, it also curates our reality. The news we read and the search results we see are all governed by powerful algorithms. These systems are designed to keep us engaged, which often means showing us content that confirms what we already think or that provokes a strong emotional response. This is what creates the filter bubble or echo chamber where we are insulated from different points of view and our own biases are reflected back at us, amplified. The decision of what information is important, what is credible and what is worthy of our attention is no longer being made by human editors or even by us. It's being made by an automated system whose main purpose is to keep us clicking. This has profound consequences for a functioning democracy which depends on well-informed citizens who have access to a wide range of perspectives. When algorithms decide what we see, they are in effect shaping public opinion and influencing our political world. Handing over these vital societal decisions, who gets a job, what news we see, to automated systems is a fundamental shift in power. We are trading human judgment with all of its flaws for algorithmic efficiency, with all of its hidden biases. While AI can certainly enhance our own decision-making, 
It cannot and should not replace human oversight completely. The context, the nuance and the ethical thinking that are so vital for fair and just societies are for now uniquely human. The challenge ahead isn't to stop AI but to learn how to govern it, to ensure its decisions serve the greater good. The world is changing faster than ever before, and artificial intelligence is driving that transformation. If you wish to stay informed and understand the technologies that are shaping all of our futures, do consider subscribing to this channel. We explore these complex subjects to give you the knowledge you need to navigate this remarkable new era. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what we discover next. We have journeyed from the quiet influence of a recommendation algorithm to the life and death decisions made in our hospitals and the great societal choices that shape our economy and our democracy. And it seems the conclusion is clear. Artificial intelligence is already making our decisions. It's a reality that is at once both awe-inspiring and deeply unsettling. On the one hand, AI offers a level of efficiency and accuracy that can help solve some of humanity's most difficult problems. It can spot disease earlier, prevent financial crime, and handle the mundane tasks that take up our time, freeing us to be more creative and strategic. On the other hand, this growing reliance on automated systems presents a whole new set of challenges. The risk of algorithmic bias, the black box nature of these complex models, and the slow erosion of our own critical thinking are not problems for the future. They are here with us today. We face a strange paradox. We build these systems to serve us, but in our search for convenience, we risk becoming servants to the very logic that we created. The technology is a prediction machine. It doesn't possess judgment, which is the very essence of good decision-making. The future is not a battle of human versus machine. It must be about finding a new kind of partnership. It will demand that we develop new skills, not just in technology and data, but in critical thinking, ethical reasoning, and the art of collaborating with these intelligent systems. We must learn when to trust the algorithm and when to question it, when to follow its lead and when to rely on our own uniquely human intuition. We stand at a crossroads. The choices we make today about how we design, use and regulate artificial intelligence will define the future of human freedom. The technology itself is neutral. It is how we choose to use it that will determine whether it leads to a world of empowered creativity or one of diminished autonomy. So I will leave you with this one question. Now that you can see the hidden strings, what choices will you make differently tomorrow? I would be very interested to read your thoughts in the comments below. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. See you next time.